All right, this video is going to be a treat for you Monstera Deliciosa lovers. So I always go to these plant stores searching and searching far and wide for sport Monsteras. What are sport Monsteras? Well, they're usually Monsteras with some sort of mutation. Usually people are hunting special forms of variegation. And that's honestly where most variegated um, styles come from. So we can look at things like Monstera Mint or Monstera Thai Constellation. These are all a form of a sport variegation that formed and then became a stable way through propagation or other means and became a staple plant in the industry. So it's like a hobby of mine to probably go to plant stores at least two or three times a week and I just look at the Monsteras and other plants that I really like and I'm always trying to find something interesting. And finally, I found something really awesome. You can see here, for the most part, this Monstera looks pretty normal. The leaves are all green, and sadly, there is no sport variegation. However, there is something far more interesting, in my opinion, and it's fasciation. I'm not sure if I'm really pronouncing that word correctly, but it's a phenomenon where the vegetation of a plant sort of divides in a weird way and produces very odd results. So this has a very physical sport, if that makes any sense, and you can see that quite clearly now in this footage that this leaf is absolutely wild. The petiole is a little thicker than normal, and then you can see once it gets to the actual leaf formation, there is a significant split. A lot of people call these split leaf monstera or split leaf philodendron, which is an incorrect name, but I think this one actually lives up to that because we have two leaves that basically form into one but have a definite split down the middle. Now, this isn't super rare, but it's very uncommon. I've probably only seen pictures of three or four of these in my entire life and through like perusing on Reddit and whatnot, so it is very uncommon. The other thing is I can't really find good information on whether this will pass on to the next like leaf, if that makes sense. The one good news is this is the newest leaf, so there is a chance that we could still get continued growth like this, and I hope we can find something stable because there are some stable vegetative mutations that you can see in the Monstera world. Again, chances of this really going forward and continuing like this are pretty rare, but if it does, that would be fantastic. But really, I just picked this one up because it was a really great specimen as far as like faciation in these aeroids that we have. You don't really see this very commonly because most people are paying attention to um, variegation and whatnot, but this is a great example of other awesome mutations that can take place. I'm going to watch this one like a hawk and make sure it does or doesn't do anything, and I will update you guys. So I hope you guys are excited about the potential future of this plant and what kind of wacky leaves might come about. Whenever I go to this plant store, I always go to their like half-dead section because you can get some sweet deals like this philodendron, Pasazanum silver, for $6.23. However, this is not a Pasazanum. In fact, this looks more like a philodendron plamanii to me, especially looking at those uh, like ruffled petioles. So whatever, I don't really care that it's mislabeled. That's really typical for stores anyways. So it's a pretty sweet score regardless. Although it did have thrips, so maybe I wasn't so lucky. Or maybe I was. I like to introduce pests just to challenge myself.